Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Ben. You're listening to episode 18 of the PBN Games podcast. On today's episode, we're talking all about the hormone leptin, why that might be the reason you're having the biggest issue losing weight, why you cannot outrun your own biology, and why you're going to want to hear my latest musical hit, Sleep, Fat, and Protein. Here we go. And here we go. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. All right, everybody, on the other side of the music, some really cool stuff today. So talking about leptin. Leptin is, is, like I said, it's the hormone that controls hunger and the feeling of fullness. And it's a really big player in the role of health. And when it comes down to losing weight, feeling good, feeling full, and really it's to show you that no matter what you do from a mind stand, uh, mindset standpoint, you're going to have trouble because your body is doing everything it can to be uh, successful and happy. And its definition of successful and happy is far different than yours. And so the mind plays tricks and the body doesn't always follow. So here's a little background on leptin. Leptin is secreted by your adipose tissue. That's your fat tissue. Um, and it basically it surveys and maintains the energy balance in the body. It can stimulate and suppress the appetite. Uh, higher levels of leptin have been associated with higher blood pressure, obesity, heart disease, stroke, um, problems with your blood sugar. It's also been associated with low levels of fertility, um, increased speed of aging, and like I said, obesity. So leptin's a big player in the game. And it's one of those things that you can diet, you can exercise more, you can do a number of different things. But really, if your hormones aren't working properly, you're never, never going to get to the spot you want to be. Most people worry about calories. I mean, that's it. It's like a, the calories in out idea. It's old school. It is, and we need to get past that. And I think this this idea of leptin that we're going to talk about today is going to be a good way to kind of d- to start that discussion. We've talked about it in past podcasts here and there, but really um, today the idea of the role leptin plays is huge. So, um, you know, yo-yo dieting, you know, those 21-day fixes, the you know, whole 30s, they aren't addressing the real issues. I, they're, you know, a step in the right direction. People are trying to eat better, and you know what? I, I stand up and applaud you for it. I've done those things. So I'm not I'm not bashing them. So don't go into this like, oh, you hate you hate trying to eat. No, no. I'm just telling you, those aren't addressing the real issues. They're helping you, you know, learn to cook and they're they're bridging the gap, but we can do more. Um and so that's why I'm here today. That's why we're talking about leptin. So let's talk about it. Let's get into it. And let's basically show that your brain is going to do what it needs to do to succeed. And even if it's going against your own logic, so understand that you might want to lose weight. Your brain is not going to let you. Your body is not going to let you. So let's get into this whole process. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> All right. So like I said, leptin, it, it, its whole role is to help you with hunger and help you understand what hunger is. Um, and if you need to eat more, if you need to eat less. So here we go like this. So say you're eating a lot. Um, your body weight will go up, you know, become overweight, obese, whatever it is. Um, your leptin, it will increase because you have more fat cells. More fat cells means you're having higher secretion levels of leptin. More leptin is in the system. So what the leptin does, it tells your body to eat less and to burn more. It revs up your metabolism and it shuts down hunger. So you'll still eat. You just won't be eating as much. Now understand this isn't a perfectly healthy individual where everything is firing on all cylinders and your body is doing the job it needs to do. So if you're eating more, your body weight is up, leptin levels are increased, you should not be eating as much. You should Your energy levels should go up because your body is trying to come back to that balanced state. It should be in that homeostatic balance. So um, your body loves like balance. That, that's what its whole job is. It's this internal thermostat that's always trying to get us back to this level, this set point, this weight that we function at in a high level. So um, really think of it to the point to where you – your body wants to do these things and it wants to operate under this idea, but it doesn't always work like that. So like I said, that's in a perfectly healthy individual. You eat, body weight goes up, leptin levels go up. You're in those higher leptin levels, tell your body to eat less and to burn more. Or on the other side of the spectrum, you're not eating all that much. Your body fat has gone down. You have lower leptin levels in your system. The leptin levels are down and it causes your body to eat more and burn less. So... Losing weight reduces the levels of leptin just because you don't have as many fat cells there that are available. Um, And your brain interprets this as starving, and it ultimately changes the biology and the behavior of how your body functions. 
And your body is doing this out of necessity. It feels like it has to do this. Your brain is like, holy crap, let me come at you and let me help you out. Because it looks like here, based off of the numbers, that we need to help you. And so it's doing everything in its power to do this. But um, our, like logically, we're like, oh, we're losing weight. We're doing all this stuff. And then you're trying to overcome that. And you know, if you've, you're losing weight, your leptin levels are going down, and you're exercising more, you might not have the energy to do it because your leptin levels have told your body to uh, burn less. And so you're not going to get the most out of your workouts because internally, there's a whole thing happening that's not happening externally. You're putting in the work, you think you're doing the best, but really you're not getting the more, the most bang out of your buck. And this is where dieting kind of throws in this like mix and it really screws us up. And like I said, yo-yo dieting and those 21-day fixes, they're not addressing leptin. They're addressing the external aspect of it. They're not getting deep enough inside. And so you know, we'll get into overweight people, and this is kind of a misconception here that occurs. Overweight people tend to have leptin resistance. So what that means is leptin's unable to produce its normal effects to stimulate weight loss. And that's like if you're chronically overweight, chronically obese. Not saying if you, you put on a couple pounds past the holidays, I'm talking about like you have had a full-out battle with weight. And so that full-out battle with weight has basically made it to where your body is like, it's. I'm tired of hearing this message. I'm not. I'm going to ignore it. I've been trying to help you, really have, but you're not giving me the tools I need, the things I need to do to survive and to be good and to do the things I want to do. So you, you build up this resistance and your body interprets that resistance as starvation. So all of a sudden, like you have that, that higher body weight, the higher amounts of leptin. Normally you would eat less and burn more, but your body has become resistant to that idea. So instead of eating less and burning more, your body interprets it as I am starving help me out, help me out. And it uh, activates multiple mechanisms in the body to increase your fat stores and to not burn off fat. Let me say that again. When you are chronically overweight, chronically obese, or you're having issues and you've been, you know, battling it nonstop, you've been doing all the diets and you've been doing all these things and you just keep coming back to the same issue is probably because your body has interpreted everything as you're starving and it will do whatever it can not to lose weight. You can go and do 18 CrossFit wads. You can go run a marathon. You can do all this crap and it does not matter because internally you've not addressed the problem. Like there's no single cause to leptin resistance. It's high amounts of fructose in the system or high fructose corn syrup. You're super stressed. You've consumed a lot of simple carbs. You're not sleeping well. You have high insulin levels. You're overeating, overexercising, which comes back to stress. And all of these things always, they play off of one another. And it's like, damn, I, I can't get past this. I can't lose weight. And we get so frustrated. We get so frustrated. And we bang our heads against the wall. And we're like, I'm doing everything I can to lose weight. But we haven't done things long enough to get our body to the point it needs to be at to lose weight properly. And so we have to address this issue. And so, you know what, it's, it's a complex issue. But you can do things to improve it. You might not fix it 100% because your brain just might get to that point where you're like, all right, I'm I'm not going to listen to this message. You know, I'm done. But you can do this. And and here's a few steps. Sleep. (laughs) How about that? We always talk about sleep. But guess what? It is the number one thing you can do to improve uh, how your body responds to leptin. You You can become more sensitive to it. All of a sudden, if you are overweight and you start sleeping a little bit, your body's going to start kind of being like, oh, okay, I'm not as stressed out. I can do these things I can. I need to do during the night, recharge, rebuild, and then I can start focusing on eating less and burning more. Your body will do that if you allow it. And that starts with sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. There it is, step one. Step two, large amounts of protein and fat in the morning. Don't start out with that bagel, that cereal. Make some eggs, throw in some veggies. Have an avocado. Go that route. Have a nice amount of protein and fat in the morning to get your day started off right. Don't go back to those simple sugars and simple carbs. You can also not snack. Not snacking during the day because that kind of feeds into the whole starving method. It, it, the snacking just reinforces that nature of like, oh, I need to eat, I need to eat, I need to eat. You don't have to eat like that. So don't snack. And it's going to be, it's going to suck. It's going to be tough to do, but you can do it and you need to do it because we have to get back and tap into why your body is not burning weight like you want it to. Um, we talked about the, the fats and protein, but like omega threes, good omega threes. You can get it from salmon, grass fed beef, bison, buffalo. Um, you can go and do a supplement form, but I mean, ultimately try and, try and just get more omega threes. Chia seeds are another great source of omega threes. So you can throw those into your diet. 
and then eating very little simple starches, uh, refined foods, sugars, and fructose. Basically, just stop eating a bunch of crap. <clears throat> Veggies, protein, fat. Veggies, protein, fat, sleep. Veggies, protein, fat, sleep. I'm going to make a song about that. That sounds like a good idea. But, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's easy. And I feel like, you know, we go through these different deals. When I sit down with clients, it always comes back to that sleep. And we can focus on the calories. We can work out more. We can do all this stuff. But really, if leptin is not working in your favor, you're not going to be where you want to be. You're going to become more even disheartened. And you're going to have, you, you can struggle. You can go into the depression, whatever it is. But let's get back to the basics. Let's sleep, fat and protein in the morning. And then let's get leptin on the right track because all of a sudden we want to go into that mode to where it does what you want it to do. It starts becoming that thermometer or that thermostat, excuse me, inside the system that says, hey, I need to start burning more and eating less. Or if your body weight is too low, your body fat is too low, you'll eat more and you'll burn less. Like that's what it needs to do. So let's get it on track. Let's do the things we need to do. Let's start with sleeping, 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 sleep, fat and protein, go. Yeah. So do that. So that's today's podcast. Simple, basic, but getting back into the one, uh, one of the big issues when it comes to weight loss, why we have a huge trouble, a huge problem with losing this weight. And it comes back down to we can't get the hormone that controls hunger and that feeling of fullness to work in our favor to do what it needs to do. So there it is. And it all starts with sleep, protein, fat. Boom. Basic stuff. That is today's podcast. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was quick, straight to the point. I wanted to be uh, informational, have a good time with it along the way. That is leptin. So today, your leptin is showing. You can see that from the bags on your eyes or if you're just one of those people that continually have issues losing weight or even putting weight on, one of the two. I don't want to just limit it to weight loss because it, it's on both sides of the coin. So that is today. That is Wednesday. It's pretty awesome. I had a good time. It was quick. I like these short podcasts. If you enjoyed the podcast, I would love it if you were to go to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. If you just liked it, a five-star rating would do as well. Give me some feedback, comments. Would love to hear from you guys and uh, to get more feedback because this whole thing is for you. It's to help you out. Any information, any other topics you might have that you'd love to be a part of, love to hear, I can throw them out there. Believe me, I've enjoyed doing the homework on this stuff. It's been awesome to reacquaint myself with the science behind it all, understand the biology because we can't always outwork biology. It's just not in the cards all the time. But we can improve it. We can make it work better for us. So keep that in mind. Um, you can find out more information, avenufit.com, A-V-E-N-U fit.com. You'll find us there. You can find me, obviously, more PM gains, um, at Ben underscore MacMillan, M-A-C-M-I-L-L-A-N. I do Periscope videos, do Snapchats now, all trying to help people feel better, throw little tips out there. So I'm doing everything I can, almost the social uh, networking overload, but it's, it's been fun. I've, I've again, I had the opportunity to meet really cool people. Actually, I just did a talk, got to meet some of the people that have been in my periscopes and it's been awesome. So keep them coming. I'm really loving the feedback. I'm really loving doing this podcast for you guys. You guys are awesome. Badass. Have a badass day. Connect with me if you'd like, keep listening and I will see you guys next week. Deuce.